Chicago PD, a long-running show that initially premiered in January 2014, started the release of its 10th season in September 2022. Jesse Lee Sofer made a BTS return to Chicago PD, and another actor is nervous about his comeback. Also, the show has provided viewers with many memorable characters over the years, but some characters will not be back for the next season. Keep watching for details on why. Firstly, when will Chicago PD Season 10 come back in 2023? For the remainder of 2022, Chicago police department schedule will be chaotic. The police procedural will suffer from the programming adjustments that all scripted television experiences, including having to move so that networks can screen holiday-themed entertainment. For one Chicago fans, it's nothing new, but it might be confusing to know when to watch again and skip a certain Wednesday since there will be a replay or a December release. Here's the information you need to know about the Chicago PD and its anticipated comeback in 2023. The mid-season finale of Chicago PD, which will wrap up the arc that developed throughout the first half of season 10 has still to air. After a mountain of evidence has revealed Sean O'Neill is responsible for the deaths of multiple women, Upton will make a concerted effort to get him arrested. Of course, Sean is the son of the new precinct chief, making it difficult to imprison him thus far. Given what he's been accused of, it's also been a very dark plot, but we can't deny that it's been interesting to follow. The only new episode of Chicago PD to air in the year's final month is the mid-season finale, which will air on Wednesday. Wednesday, December 7th. The remaining days of December will be devoted to the reruns, as mentioned earlier, and or Christmas specials once it has been released. So when will the show be back? NBC has officially announced that Chicago PD will return to Wednesday nights on January 4th, 2023. The One Chicago program, including PD, will resume airing during its regular time slot and continue for the remainder of the month, mostly unimpeded. Which Chicago PD characters won't be back in the next season? Over the years, Chicago PD has provided us with with amazing characters. The IU has served as home to those who have died in the line of duty, lost faith in the police because of the corruption in the Windy City, or simply changed their minds about being police officers. The franchise has done a fantastic job of keeping characters in the mix, or at the very least, leaving the door open in case a particular character wants to return. Examples include the significant role that Chief O'Neill played in Season 10, after only making a fleeting appearance in earlier seasons of the program. However, a select few people won't be returning and anytime soon. Characters who are certain to maintain their distance from PD for the foreseeable future due to their circumstances or the relationships that their actors have with the program. Here is a quick list of the three popular Chicago PD characters who won't be back for season 11. First on the list is Erin Lindsay. Erin Lindsay is a special instance among the characters in Chicago PD. She was a major character on the program when it first began, and since, she's still alive and well on the East Coast. She could make a cameo appearance if the writers ever choose to do so, but so Sophia Bush's tense relationship with part of the actors and crew is why Lindsay won't be back for season 11. Bush has been open about her time on the show and how she frequently felt uneasy due to the cold while it was being shot. It's safe to presume that Lindsay's character will stay safely off screen because the animosity between the two camps hasn't changed since Bush left. Second on the list is Alvin Olinsky. Al Olinsky was beloved by all. The role Elias Codius played was an ideal partner for Jason Begay's Voight and it provided an interesting contrast for the IU's younger agents. It was simple to support him because even though he didn't always act morally, he always did so with good intentions. Unfortunately, Olinsky's passing in season 5 eliminates him from the list of characters who might rejoin Chicago PD. He was imprisoned for murder, and as soon as he got there, someone stabbed him to death. It would seem odd to have Olinsky return in some manner for Voight, who is still grieving the loss of his friend. His absence has more than enough of an effect on the characters. Lastly on the list is Anna Avalos, a different character on Another awful conclusion. The emotional stakes for the IU this year were established by the loss of Anna Avalos, a significant character in Chicago PD's ninth season, during the season finale. As a result of his deliberate concealment of Anna's past from her, Voight feels personally accountable for what transpired, and Upton is tormented by guilt for having to shoot and kill Anna when she drew a gun on Voight. Both characters still have much mending to do, and how Voight and Upton approach situations going forward will be influenced by how they handled the Anna scenario poorly. Sadly, Anna's tragedy means that neither season 11 nor any other season will see her return to PD. Why does Jesse Lee Sofer's return make a particular Chicago PD actor nervous? Patrick John Fluger discusses his concerns with Jesse Lee Sofer's behind-the-scenes return to Chicago PD season 10. Sofer left the series in October 2022, eight years after making his acting debut in Hank Voigt's Intelligence as Jay Halstead. Without a doubt, his departure left a huge hole in the police procedural that both viewers and 
and his co-stars could see. The good news is that Sofer's return to Chicago PD has already been scheduled. Pfluger, Sofer's former co-star and close friend, reveals why he's anxious about this new development. To put things in perspective, Sofer is returning to Helm Chicago PD Season 10, Episode 16, which is predicted to premiere sometime in 2023. The actor has been cited returning on the set of the series as he shadows cast members while filming, but nothing further about the outing has been made public. Given this, Luger opens up to NBC about his open ideas about working with Sofer again, though in a different capacity on Chicago PD. Fluger said that Sofer has brilliant ideas and can present them to the writers, the camera crew, and the performers in a way that exhibits the diplomacy that Fluger believes is necessary when directing TV series, but may not be necessary when directing movies. According to Fluger, Sofer simply has that in spades. Simply said, he has a way of getting what he wants, when he wants it, and when he feels it's the right thing to do. Fluger continues by stating that it's equally important to present those ideas and viewpoints in a way that won't turn people off. Fluger said that after 10 years of working closely together, someone should understand you well when you become that close to them. So, he is excited and a little nervous about Sofer being the director, because he's not sure if he'll be able to endure anything without laughing. Fluger said that he's embarrassed that Jesse can perceive him as a transparent ghost and can see right through him. Does Sofer's comeback imply that Jay Halstead will also return to Chicago PD? For perspective, Sofer's departure from One Chicago was announced before Chicago PD Season 10 began. Shortly after that, Halstead abruptly announced on his farewell show that he was departing intelligence. He reached his breaking point after years of protecting intelligence from criminal activity. To rediscover himself, he then decided to re-enlist and spend eight months pursuing cartels in Bolivia. Sofer's separation from the Chicago PD is permanent, although Halstead's absence is only expected to be temporary. This does not preclude him from making a guest appearance, especially if the show intends to drop him from the series at some point completely. But the exact reason Sofer left the Chicago Police Department remains a mystery. There have been rumors that he was similarly terminated from the TV series to how Kelly Giddish was ejected from Law & Order SVU. There are rumors because neither NBC nor Wolf Entertainment have addressed this issue. However, the fact that Sofer is returning to direct a Chicago PD episode soon after Halstead's departure shows that he still enjoys working with many of his former co-workers. He is even learning the ropes by staying back on set behind the camera before helming an outing. While he's already back on the police procedural set, capturing a cameo from him could be a good idea. If NBC isn't prepared to create his future, they might add some flashbacks instead, especially if it means highlighting more of Halstead and Haley Upton's marriage-based relationship. We've come to the end of today's video. Who are your favorite actors in Chicago PD? And what do you think about Jesse Lee Sofer's return to Chicago PD as a director? Let us know in the comment section. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.